Hello Capricorn and welcome to your 1111 portal reading. This is an inaugural, let me say it again, this is an inaugural reading for this channel as I have recently opened up the channel to include all zodiac signs. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I can tell you this is a high vibe safe space. We have a lot of fun here. Um, and we love on each other, we support each other, we encourage each other, um, and this is just a really great community to be a part of. So, I am so glad that you're here. I hope uh, that you will subscribe and I hope that you will find value in this community. Um, it truly is a beautiful thing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started for your 1111 portal, Capricorn. So tell me, where are you watching from? I would love to know where you're watching from, how you're doing, and what are you feeling um, as we approach or are in the 1111 portal? I would love to hear um, how you're working through the energy of that. Um, the 1111 portal is a very interesting and unique portal. Um, at the time of the recording of this reading, I am, this is like the seventh, so I'm a few days ahead, but I am definitely feeling the energy of newness. Can any of you relate to that? I feel like a new um, chapter is opening, and I am stoked about the prospect of that. So, very excited. All right, I do shuffle these cards on and off camera. All right, I don't know that I'll do that forever as the uh, channel grows, um, but for now, I am doing that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and welcome in and thank the Archangels who help me with my channel. And I just request that they um, infuse this reading with their energies. Um, infuse this reading with the wisdom, the guidance, the validation, the direction, and the messages that my viewers need to hear. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started with a moon uh, oracle card. And we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. I was literally just talking about newness. Was I not? <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, so I am feeling that. So perhaps some of you are looking for love or you are looking for your relationship to go to the next level. And I just heard, you see the scales here, I just heard that you've put in a lot of work for this relationship that you're in. If you're in a relationship, if you're not in a relationship, the person that you're trying to manifest or the person that you're pursuing or courting, you've also put a lot of work and energy into making that happen for yourself. And so spirit is saying that there is a sense of justice in this um, because this looks like a faded relationship and you've really worked hard on yourself to make yourself available for the kind of love that you've been trying to manifest. And Spirit's like, it's only right that you get that kind of love, okay? <laughs> you're doing the work, you're being ethical, you're being just, um, you're doing all the right things, okay, Capricorn? So just be ready because the 1111 portal has got an energy of a new romantic cycle beginning for you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, cut this again, and I'm gonna draw three energy oracles. Angel of love. <laughs> okay, I think we can safely say that this is most definitely qualifying as a love reading. Okay, angel of love. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Oh, I'm getting some really major downloads here. And thirdly, we have contract. But you know what? 
that came in the reverse and I'm feeling about I'm feeling like leaving it leaving it in the reverse okay so and what's so interesting is with this contract you've got scales and right here on this card you have scales as well all right so here's what spirits message is for you you have been I'm hearing walking wounded you have been a walking wounded person who has been longing for love pining for love either looking for a reconnection with a twin flame or wanting to bring a vibrancy back into your relationship um, or manifesting a brand new relationship but you're walking around you've been walking around wounded but spirit is saying a new romantic cycle is beginning for you because you are being sent an angel of love this could be an earth angel this could be one of the archangels such as Raphael who um, is known for his abilities to work in this arena of love um, so just know you are being sent an angel of love to give you the guidance the intuition that you need I'm also hearing the word self-care to make sure that you continue that once you find love how many of us are guilty of getting the love that we wanted and then when it comes to loving ourselves we just drop it right and that is not fair to ourselves and plus when we do that it creates a disconnect in our relationship because when we stop fueling ourselves Capricorn then there's no extra fuel to go to your love interest all right and things become imbalanced I'm also hearing that <laughs> I just heard oh, the words love is a battlefield I'm hearing that love has been um, a bit of an embattled thing for you okay uh, and perhaps you're 35 years old I'm picking up on that as well um, but I'm hearing that you know you were being sent an angel of love and here is Archangel Michael on the scene okay and Archangel Michael is a warrior okay um, and so perhaps there's been a lot of injustice in the area of love for you Capricorn perhaps um, you've been wounded you can see he's got a, a sword drawn here maybe he's going to sever karmic cords for you karmic ties of people who wounded you and hurt you um, and you can see that the root chakra right here is glowing red and um, I just feel like Archangel Michael is stepping in to help you get free um, from karmic ties so that you can go forward and be out of contract with with old soul ties I knew there was a reason for having this in the reverse okay so you are being set free by the power of Archangel Michael by the power of your own self-love by the power of the new energy that we're entering into in the 1111 portal and you are about to be absolutely set free when you come across this reading okay you're gonna be free to love yourself more deeply you're going to be free to move on for better richer deeper love okay now let's take a metaphysical exploration of the five senses um, this is a little bit of a different spread um, I kind of come up with it I know that most of us who watch tarot have extrasensory abilities we are empaths we are psychics we are mediums uh, we are palm readers we are just a very spiritual bunch right and so what I like to do is is explore the five gates metaphysically okay and just see how spirit is working with us through our senses um, about what is coming at us what's coming toward us okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started right here right there let's see in the first position in the area of touch 
Spirit, what do the Capricorn viewers want to get their hands on in the area of taste? What does Capricorn have a taste for at this time in the area of smell? What is in the air for my Capricorn viewers in the area of hearing? Spirit, what do you want my Capricorn viewers to hear in the area of seeing? Spirit, what do you want them to see? All right, let's get started. In the area of touch, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, what he's got his hand on is his wand, his staff, his guidance, right? Um, and the wands represent passion, creativity. Uh, it is a fire element, okay? And perhaps your special person is going to have fire in their charts, okay? If so, then you can take this as a confirmation. Uh, but you are eagerly longing to get your hands um, onto some passion and off of like the doldrums, the humdrums of life, the daily grind that's so boring. You're looking, I just heard, for your knight in shining armor to come riding on the scene, and that is absolutely possible since we are, uh, since you are in a new romantic cycle. Um, so just be ready to get your hands on a very beautiful, passionate knight in shining armor um, kind of love. All right, in the area of taste, what do the viewers have a taste for? Five of Swords. In times past, now this will apply to some of you and some of you it won't. So take what resonates and leave what don't. Some of you in the past have had to face what you felt was pretty grueling competition for the love of your life. Okay, perhaps you felt overlooked Perhaps you felt like you had to fight harder than other people would to get this person's attention. Um, but just know this is sword energy. And Spirit is saying to you right now that that might have been a misperception on your part due to some shadow work that you probably need to do. Um, sword energy is mental energy. And I feel like... You've been having these imaginary battles in your head over your love interest, over your significant other. Maybe you're afraid of, um, you know, if you're in a relationship, you're afraid, like, are they going to cheat on me? And so you stay kind of in this mental space of being ready to fight, being ready to defend your honor. Very old school stuff, defend their honor, okay? Maybe where you're watching from, honor is a integral part of your culture. Uh, but just, just know Spirit is saying you don't have to be on the defense. You don't have to be in your head about this. You're going to be given this. And so the proper thing for you to do is to rest and receive and not make enemies out of people who wish you no harm or ill intentions, okay? All right, in the area of smell, what's in the air for the viewers? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. This is a card of um, being on top, okay? Defending your position. It's very interesting that it comes after the Five of Swords, which is like a defense kind of a card. And then you've got the Knight of Wands here. Um, what I'm sensing Spirit saying here is you're, you're wasting a lot of energy by being in your mind and that's causing you to not enter into or lean into your creative passions, your creative pursuits, your creative endeavors and it is those things that your person will love about you that will attract that person to you. Or if it's already a significant other, Spirit is saying, don't give your energy to fighting and defending an imaginary situation. Give your passionate energy to your creative pursuits because that is the charm. That's what draws your person to you, okay? I'm hearing drop your ego, drop the battle, drop the swords, you know, let Archangel Michael fight 
this battle, Capricorn. If this reading is resonating with you, would you hit that like button? And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. I hope you will be the first Capricorn subscriber that I have. I would be so absolutely stoked. And if you are that person, or if you think you're that person, let me know. Drop in the comments. All right, in the area of hearing, what do you want Capricorn to hear, Spirit? Four of Wands. Now, this came up in the reverse and I just heard the words it's not a race and if you put pressure on this thing it's not going to end the way that you're wanting it to end which is in the upright technically known as the marriage card you're going to have to find some balance in that fiery um, pursuit that fiery inclination that you have, okay? You want this to end like this, okay? You want to finish the race and find your significant other at the end. So you're going to have to move out of this battle energy because it's literally, I mean, it is literally just, it's mostly in your mind, okay? Allow the real warrior to step up and do that and free you from the soul contracts and free you from um, the imaginary battles in your mind for love. All right, and then what do we have in the area of seeing spirit? What do you want Capricorn to see? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles upright is a card of legacy. This right here are two people who have committed to each other for life. They have had children, they have built a business together, multiple businesses, um, and they have got the pentacles. This is the legacy card. You're wanting to build a legacy with someone, Capricorn, but if you don't come out of this mental vexation that you're in, you are going to sabotage yourself, okay? So what I wanna suggest to you right now is do some meditation. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this, and they will. They will help you with this. All right, Spirit, how do you want us to close out this reading? I just heard the words, don't be too aggressive. Don't be too aggressive. So if you've ever been accused of being aggressive, I want to encourage you to chill out, <laughs> okay? Because that can really be a turnoff. And when somebody tells you no, take it as a no. Don't look at it as, oh, they're just being a tease, they're just playing games. Please take the person at their word and give them the space that they need to come toward you if they want to, okay? All right, we're gonna close out with this um, energy oracle deck. Spirit, what do you want Capricorn to see and to know for the closing energy? What is your message? Man holding a coin, man holding a coin. So you look at this, <clears throat> this man is dressed romantically, okay? This reminds me of like medieval dress and I think about like the medieval romance novels. This is a guy that you probably would have seen <laughs> in those kinds of novels, okay? And he's relaxing in this field of lavender. Lavender is relaxing, okay? And so he's in this peaceful position. He has a hold of a, a coin, okay, which is considered a practical resource. So what in 43, you might be the age 43. If so, then you could take this message as confirmation for you. But if you're wanting to build a ten of pentacles and not just be a singular person holding a coin, then do lean into your creativity rather than using that mental energy um, to just vex yourself with scenarios that probably are not real. You know what I mean? Jealousy can eat you alive. And what sucks about that is, is 
what if you didn't even have to feel that? You know what I mean? Like, what if there's nothing going on and then you've wasted all that energy feeling green for no reason? You know what I'm saying? So this message is about bringing you peace. This message is about bringing you into alignment so that you can have the love that you're desiring. This message is encouragement that you're being set free from old contracts with lovers uh, or with people you've had crushes on so that you can be f the full whole person who is ready for love ready to give and receive okay being encouraged to fill up your tank with love love yourself so that you have what it takes to love others be willing to be open right and work on yourself because it looks like you've already started doing that and you're doing a fantastic job so keep up the good work get ready for love Capricorn because a new romantic cycle begins I love you so much thank you for being here and until the next video I wish you peace Capricorn